Minecraft speedruns are an interesting topic that can make or break someone's YouTube career. So I decided that the most logical thing for me to do if I'm trying to enter the speedrun community is get the number one world record. And the only way that I could think of doing this was giving myself speed 255, because that's 100% how it works. But I mean, before I do anything, I first have to check the previous world record, you know, before I absolutely and utterly obliterate it. Ten seconds later. Okay, why is he pausing and unpausing repeatedly while listening to Hatsune Mika? I don't- WHAT THE FUCK JUST HAPPENED?! Well, that was thoroughly traumatizing. Alright, time to start this definitely world record speedrun, woohoo! Alright, I'm already noticing a problem. In this version of the game, there is no speed infinite, so I'm just gonna really quickly ask something. Hey Siri, how long is 999,999 seconds in hours? Any day now. It's, it's lagging. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna start the speed run while I wait for Siri to work, you know. You know, this is- Something went wrong. Please try again. Oh, wow, no, no kidding. Okay, hold up. S Siri, um, how long is 999,999 seconds? Like, I already started the speed run. Y y you got you gotta hurry up. Okay. Siri here. Let me know what? if I can help. What? I, I give up. I give up. You know what? Just put, just put like a text box saying how long that time is. Okay, yeah, I'm probably not going to have enough time to beat the speed run. But, you know, you know, I, I'm going to get close. I've already spent more time talking to Siri than the actual speed run of my... Okay, wow, this is already off to an incredible start. It only took me four minutes to get wood. I'd say that I'm on world record pace if I was playing in 2008. Was the Ender Dragon even in the game in 2008? All right, the speedrun has officially begun as I've gotten tools. You know what that means. Why do I keep making this joke? It's not even that funny. You know, sometimes I question the morality behind stealing these villagers' hay bales. I mean, they might need it for the winter or something. And then I realize that there's no winter in a plains biome, so I feel perfectly fine after that. All right, it seems like the next step on our grand plan of speedrunning this game is to find a cave. Yeah, that's a very logical place to go in a speedrun. All right, I'm noticing a problem that if I don't stop right now will end very terribly. There's a lot of Sonic references that I can make throughout this video, and I really do not want to have to deal with that, so I'm just gonna save everyone the trouble, and for the next seven seconds, can we just like stuff every single Sonic meme? Yep, just just keep going. Just keep adding them in. Yep, yep. Oh, that's a very fun one. That one is very dead. Okay, time's up. Wow, very interesting. Great. Oh, God damn it. Alright, so I'm now with a shield, only going so fast that a person can barely see me, as opposed to going so fast that I was actually all the extras in the Back to the Future movies. Alright, so I have some incredible news to tell you all. I somehow got lost while having max speed. I don't even know how that's possible. I, I actually have no idea where the nether portal is, which I kind of need because there's already a fully lit end portal somewhere on this map. I don't know where it is, it's it's somewhere, but I, I, I need the nether portal to find it, and, um... Yeah, I, I have no idea where it is. On the upside, I'm only 16 minutes behind the world record, so I don't overall say that I'm still doing pretty good on time. Well, that took longer than I'd be willing to admit if this wasn't a video where there was an obvious timer on the left-hand side. God damn it. After 24 minutes of what I can only describe as the best speed running I have ever done in my entire life, it is finally time for me to go to the nether. Am I actually going to try to beat the game right now? I, I don't really know yet. I'm still kind of working that out. But, oh. Oh, hey, I'm so fast that I can just walk around the fireballs. This definitely won't end badly. Seconds later. Alright, so the nether has gone from a hellscape to a literal wasteland, ghasts are now my sleep paralysis demon, and the portal has been successfully unlit. Alright, I'd say that with all this considered, this is probably a good time to get the hell out of here before something else goes terribly, terribly wrong. Okay, so overall, my experience with the nether. I successfully managed to escape, but at the same time, I was fighting for a gas longer than the actual world record speed run two times over. Yeah, I do not know how to feel about that. Probably bad, though. Okay, 31 minutes in, and I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to break those chests within the first 50 seconds. And that'll somehow lead to me beating the video game. Well, I mean, better late than never, but still. Okay, now that I've done the thing that I was supposed to do in the nether, I 
don't know what that is, but I, I, I apparently did it. Now it's time for the hardest part, getting to the end. Now, the only way that I can do this, apparently, is if I go through the nether and then build another portal in a specific spot. Do I know where this spot is? And then after that, we need to beat the video game. Overall, I'd say that it's a pretty solid plan, 9 out of 10. All right, here we go. We're going into the nether with literally all of our supplies. If we die here, then... I mean, I'll probably come up with some way to pad the runtime, but, you know, I prefer not to do that. I prefer to actually beat the video game, so uh, let's see how it goes, and hopefully it doesn't end terribly. God, at times like these, you really wish there was another Google Maps. Actually, wait, here we go. Uh, hey, Zombie Pigman, do any of you guys know where I need to put the nether portal to go to the end portal so that I can kill the ender dragon so that I can beat the video game? Shit, I just told the zombie pigmen that they're trapped in a video game. Oh god, they're gonna turn this into the freaking Terminator games. I knew it, the zombie pigmen apocalypse is nigh. Alright, so now that I've successfully managed to doom the planet, and using my spider senses that are definitely okay. Yeah, guys, I was talking about my spider senses. Now, now is not the time for this. Now is, now is not the time to deal with two hoglins back to back. Are you fucking kidding? No, 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 no. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go down the. Pretty sure that this gives you invincibility strategy. <gasps> Shit! I pressed F one. I. I pressed F one, instead of escape. And. God damn it. But if you thought that this was over, you're solely mistaken. Hold up, can we put, can we put on some dramatic music in the background? Yeah, there we go. Actually, this entire time, I knew exactly where the end portal was in the overworld. I definitely did not just search it up five minutes ago. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that spot, and then after we get there, we're gonna dig straight down, we're gonna go into the end portal, we're gonna kill the dragon, we're gonna do absolutely incredible things. I'm sure that whatever happened with that bow that caused me to probably have several brain injuries afterwards, that's definitely going to work with an axe. I'm 100% sure of that. So, once we get there, we're gonna stab it with an axe, we're gonna beat the game, and we're gonna have all the content we need for the rest of my life, because I do not want to ever have to do this again. You know, one small problem might be that I have absolutely no idea where I'm going right now. I mean, I know I said I had the coordinates, I did, I just kind of forgot where I put them, I think I... I looked down... to check... the... Alright, guess where... I forgot that the speed dissipates when you die. Okay, well, um, you know what? I'm just going to stay like this for a minute. Maybe I'll come up with a night. Oh, wait a second. Can we check the rules really quick? Hmm. Holy crap, I got it. Okay, so hear me out because this is probably going to immediately be banned by like 80% of the community. But hear me out. The only rule that I had was that I had to beat the game fast. Yeah, that's my loophole for this entire video, huh? Go, go, yep. Any day now? Okay. There we go. By far the most earned victory I have ever seen in any Minecraft game. And would you look at that? I beat the game in one minute and nine seconds. That's a world record. All right, I did it. What was the end of that video?